Probably should have had a shave. Oh well. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. What's up team? Coach Mike here, back with another episode of my vlog. Got a cool story for today. I was scheduled this week to go and catch up with my good friend, Triple X, AKA Chris Firth, AKA most shredded guy over 35 I know. Operates around 7% body fat yearly, crazy. However, one of my coaches, Coach Mitch, decided to be a good Samaritan for the day, help an old lady rescue her cat from her tree. Thought he was Tarzan on his way up. Next minute realized as he slips and falls that he's more like Jane. Sorry, Mitch. <laughs> and he fell and broke his arm. No, not really. He heard her playing footy, but uh, it just meant that it's been a bit more chaotic for me here this week covering a few things. So I wasn't able to take time off on Thursday when Triple X is free to head out to his facility. I know, I know. You don't think I'm going anywhere. However, my good friend Jack Reed from Fifth Element Wellness, new young coach. I used to train him, Jack's an athlete. First and foremost, now he's a coach and he's doing some awesome stuff with the team over at Fifth Element Wellness at their unique, awesome holistic training space with some cool specialty stuff. So we're gonna go check that out. So I'm really excited uh, and thank you for them for having me turn up here today. But it is Melbourne and it is raining. So what does that mean? It means no one can drive. Oh, okay, so I didn't really want to let this one out of the bag this early, but I'm gonna share you all with a little secret. I am actually a distant relation to the one Goku and I know how to instant transmission. So here we go. See that team? It's a transmission. Welcome to Fifth Element Wellness. Let's go in and see who's here. All right, here we go. Hey man, here to see Jack? Yeah, man. Oh, oh, he's already here. All right, folks, here we go, Jack Reed. Hey, you Mike? Good to see you. Thanks for having me, brother. Thanks for having me, brother. No worries. Legend. It's a pre-workout. How's about that for service? Double espresso on arrival. What a place already. Oh, delicious. All right, so what are we doing here, Jack? Awesome, we're just gonna have a quick ice bath pre-training just to simulate your CNS, uh, fire yourself up, and it's a sort of way to wake yourself up and get ready for a big session. Sick, all right, let's do it. Yeah. It is cold. Woo! I hope this works, Jack. Woo! Oh, it's been a while. It's all about the breath. Control the breath, control the mind, control the body. How'd that feel, Mike? Oh yeah, I haven't done one for so long. <laughs> I can feel it. Woo! All right, so the ice bath's done, and it does exactly what it's meant to. Gets the CNS awake, gets that blood flowing through the legs, so it's pretty cool. I haven't ever done a pre-ice bath, but that's a great idea if you are looking for the, that little edge to wake up, if you're feeling sluggish from your session. So we just did like two to three minutes, just to stimulate, not to shut off the systems completely. And now we're in this epic little yoga space with this awesome back wall. And we're gonna do a little movement flow to get moving, get that blood flowing throughout the body before we start our awesome session. Oh, here he is. All right, Jack, so we've ice bath, we're stimulated, we've moved, we've warmed. What do you got in store for us today? Uh, today we do a strongman session. So here we do a lot of strongman. We have a class Tuesday morning, Thursday mo morning, Thursday night, and Saturday morning, Sunday morning. Uh, so today I'm gonna take Mike through some strongman. We're gonna do, we're gonna start off with a backwards drag. So we're gonna do four, uh, four laps. 
Over, one lap max out, we rest 120 seconds, go again. So we're working really heavy, we get a bit of rest, then we go again. Then we go straight into a farmer's carry, which we're gonna do one lap, about 40 meters, then we go straight into a duck walk, um, it's a bit of a superset, rest two minutes again, we've got four sets of that. Then we're gonna do a strongman squat, which is sort of like just a normal deficit squat, um, four by six, straight into a giant dumbbell, which is is uh, pretty fun, we'll show you that afterwards. We do four by five each side, and then just a bit of back and forth to finish off with. Sick, so what do you reckon is gonna be the hardest part? Um, probably the strongman squat and the giant dumbbell gets pretty tough towards the end after the farmers in the backwards drag. And what are, what's your favorite thing to do out of all that? I like the backwards drag. Sick, all right, let's do it. Good work. Workout. He's deciding to show me how he can max out and try and beat me on everything. Woo, settle down, son. Woo. Right, 200 kilo farmers, 320 on the sled drag. What's next? We've got to come in squat with the fat bar. It's gonna be blue. Come on. Yeah. There, Reedy. Come on. Come on. Are you done? Big boy. Are you done? Big boy. You're embarrassing me. If there's no video, it didn't happen, Jack. You got a video, of course. Sweet session, awesome fun. Now, time for a little bit of man love in the man cave as we head into infrared sauna time. Woo. All right, Jack. Oh, it's quite cozy in here. It's just warming up. <laughs> uh, why don't you uh, give us a little bit of insight into one of the biggest things you've learned since working here at Fifth Element? Um. The biggest thing I've learned probably from Dave and some of the other senior coaches here is that every individual is probably different and you've got to take into consideration their lifestyle, their stress, their job and really just play, play it based on each individual, not just everybody as a whole. So that's really sort of influenced me a lot and really just understood that when if someone's really stressed out and got a crazy lifestyle probably the, not, the best thing for them is to come in and actually restore them rather than come in and absolutely smash someone and like, like put them through hell, if that makes sense. Yeah, so you're saying uh, people need to think a bit more about their client's lifestyle away from the gym 100%. and how much impact uh, actually the training could have 
on them in a negative, not just a positive environment if they are not ready to handle the stress of adding intense training to, yeah, their, exactly. to their life. Yeah, exercise is a stress. And if you're majority of the people are stressed as it is, and you're just pushing that back even further and further, and we, we need to re recover better. And for just stressing ourselves out, it's, it's just the recipe for disaster later on, which for majority of the clients we have is what, what, the, what they are. Yeah, yeah. So how do you go about distinguishing who's ready for high intense training and who's not? Um, so when clients come in, obviously the uh, senior assessors uh, put them through a like three hour new client assessment, which sort of distinguishes like how their gut health is, how they're feeling, uh, how they're moving. But then pretty much everyone goes into a fresh start diet, which we just want to reduce all the inflammation, um, dairy, gluten, alcohol, just for four weeks. Um, just to really reduce all that inflammation, the toxins. Then we, st after that sort of four week period, we sort of assess where they're at and like, what, like, what their sort of goals are and what they individually need. And then a lot will tell from there onwards, uh, probably after about eight weeks. Yeah, nice. So you have a pretty uh, complete system to, when you get people started, they're all gonna start on a similar profile in order to boost their health yeah, first yeah. and foremost. It's pretty it's pretty similar for most people. However, there is like the, that one or few that need a little bit different. But yeah, the whole idea is just really reducing the inflammation and just getting any toxins out which have been stored over that build up amount of time. Yeah, great. And um, la last one for you, Jack. Uh, as a young coach, what is something that you, you've had to overcome in terms of when you're now the authority for the clients that you have. So have you uh, experienced dealing with someone who might be a CEO of a company and how did you overcome like that you're now the authority figure for someone of that nature? I think the best way um, to get some authority is just through proper goal setting and establishing that client's goals um I, I like a saying a coach with the with the worst plan but the best buy-in is going to get better results than the coach with the best plan but no buy-in so i think once you establish those goals and you display that you're here to help and get them to those goals and improve their life optimally um it's quite easy to get results and get a good buy-in yeah nice man awesome um any any lasting uh, bit of info or insights for the viewers out there uh it's starting to heat up in here and uh i'm starting to get a little bit of sweat on so any, anything else any any cool little tips any little secrets any anything that you can pass along to people that they might be able to implement and use straight away anything that's top of the mind i probably can't uh, emphasize the importance of good quality sleep seven to nine hours a night plus being hydrated each day um, is a big thing to improving energy levels and staying focused. A lot of the time, everyone's under sleeping and not hydrated, which sort of, uh, we often mistake um, hunger for actual dehydration. So just keeping hydrated and sleeping, good quality sleep, um, that's probably the first steps to actually getting healthy and starting to improve body composition or strength. Awesome, brother. Thanks Eve, for having me here. Pleasure. Thanks for coming on board the vlog. We'll be back. And thanks everyone for watching. Welcome to this nice intimate component here in the infrared sauna. If you've never tried one of these, uh, you can go down and book one. There's a few. There's plenty of places around that have them now. Uh, they are great. They're a different type of sauna. Uh, it's not like a traditional one. It heats you up from the inside out. The idea is to get the flow of energy coming from the organs, taking the toxins out of the body. Um, versus being such an aggressive heat on the external creating the sweat so look into it it's pretty unique in its approach and um, that's the ideas it's not just about the full science you have to be a little bit uh, out there with your ability to understand that there are some unique things that you can do to your health and include in your daily life that are really important to helping you live a healthy and fulfilled life. So get around it, folks. Awesome pod, uh, v, ooh, podcast, vlog today, and I'll see you next time. That was fun. A lot of fun.
Uh, great facility, great people. Caught up with the owner, Dave, uh, having some great conversation with him. They're doing some amazing things here and it's only gonna be bigger and better. If you're in the northern, in the northern suburbs, make sure you come in and check out Fifth Element, cool place to train. And ask for my boy, Jack Reed. Uh, you'll get a lot out of him, he's a good kid. And it's amazing to see his development over the last year since he made the decision that he wanted to get into the coaching role started out with me doing some coaching and now he's working here full time so it's awesome to see his development and improvement um yeah hope you enjoy the episode we will get out to see my boy triple x next episode so that's us done for today it's time for me to get back through this traffic hoping that it's not too bad and I can sneak my way back to the gym because we're having a barbecue tonight. All right, team, we will see you next time on the Coach Mike Vlog series.